prison is never easy. Not for the prisoner or for his family. 59-year-old Sahak Shahinyan was a taxi driver in Yerevan, Armenia's capital, when he pleaded guilty to selling seven grams, a quarter of an ounce of marijuana. He now says he didn't do it, and that his punishment, five and a half years in prison, has cost him dearly. Human rights advocate Anna Malikian says Armenia's courts are too quick to sentence criminals to long prison terms. What we would like to have is more types of alternative sanctions so that the courts have a choice which kind of uh, punishment to, to assign. Anna's work is financed and made possible by the United Nations Democracy Fund, which is promoting alternatives to imprisonment in Georgia, Azerbaijan and Armenia. As Armenia plans its reforms, it's looking closely at Georgia, which was forced to develop alternative sanctions by a widely reported scandal. When this disturbing video was broadcast in 2012, Georgians were appalled. They learned that juvenile inmates were often physically and sexually abused. Georgians took to the streets on the eve of an election to demand action. The opposition party won after promising to transform the criminal justice system. After elections, there was a huge amnesty adopted by the parliament. Georgi Arsoshvili heads Georgia's new probation agency. He says thousands of prisoners were released and the period of post-prison supervision was dramatically shortened. Georgi is especially proud of this newly opened halfway house. After being in prison, non-violent inmates can finish their sentences here. Malhaz Koposashvili, a trucker, has been here for nine months after serving four years in prison for smashing into a car. To all probationers, I can tell just one thing. We really want them to be back in society. Georgie has no doubt back in society is where men like Malhaz, who's being released from prison today, belong.